Hello everyone. To check that you understand the section on data handling, try some of these tasks we have put together for you. You can do these tasks in your own time and in any order and then check your answers later. The series guide, which is called a guide to data handling, provides all these tasks in written form too. Question 1. 30 learners were asked, what is important to you? And they were given four things to choose from. Here are their answers. Ukudla is food. Impilo is health. Utando is love. And Itemba is faith or hope. Now try these questions. 1.1. Organize the data in a frequency table. 1.2. Represent the data on a bar graph. 1.3. Comment on your findings. Now here's question two. Decide whether these are discrete or continuous amounts or measurements. Distance, height, number of cars, DJs on the radio, age of mountains, volume of water. Now for question three. 50 bean plants were measured in centimeters to see how tall they were. The heights were rounded to the nearest centimeter. Here is the set of grouped data recorded in a frequency table. There were two plants between 20 and 24 centimeters in height, six between 25 and 29, and 14 between 30 and 34. In addition, 16 plants measured between 35 and 39 centimeters, 10 between 40 and 44, and just two from 45 to 49. This accounts for the total of 50 plants. Draw a histogram to represent the data. Now let's try a bar graph with question four. Represent this data about transport on a bar graph. Walk, 25. Taxi, 57. Car, 15. Other, 3. The next question is about how we represent data. Question 5. Have a look at this graph to answer some questions about it. 5.1. In what ways is this graph misleading? 5.2. What is the possible intention of the person who produced this graph? Question 6. This data shows the number of hours in a week 25 teenagers spent watching television. Their times are correct to the nearest hour. 6.1. Arrange the data in ascending order. 6.2. Calculate the mean or average time teenagers spent watching television. Round your answer to the nearest hour. 6.3. What does this mean tell us about the time teenagers spent watching television? 6.4. The median of the data is 14. What does this tell us about the time these teenagers spent watching TV? 6.5. Why can't we generalize and say that on average, everyone in South Africa spends an average time of 15 hours watching TV? Question 7. Here is a pie chart that shows the type of lunches bought at the school tuck shop by 50 learners. 7.1. How many of the learners bought pies? 7.2. Estimate what fraction of learners bought burgers. 7.3. Estimate what fraction of learners bought hot dogs. Now for our last question about data handling, this is quite a complex question, but very interesting. Let's see how you do. Question eight. A group of learners went on a school camp for a week. At the end of the camp, they were given a survey slip. Now let's answer some questions about this survey. Siwangile is a 15-year-old girl who felt lots of homesickness on the camp. Which options would she choose on the survey slip? 
The camp leader has summarized the data from all the completed survey forms in the table below. Use this summary to answer the next questions. How many males and how many females participated in the survey? The camp leader wrote in his report, more than one out of every two teenagers either feel a lot or an unbearable amount of homesickness. Show how the camp leader could have come to this conclusion. Do boys experience homesickness equally or differently to girls? Substantiate your answer using the information in the table. How are you doing so far? Now we are going to look at what the camp leader did with some of this data. The camp leader illustrated his report with this graph. What impression does the graph create about the number of male and female participants? Is this impression correct? Substantiate your response. What has the camp leader done with the graph to create that impression? Well, I hope you have been successful with these questions. To check your answers and to get some tips about answering each question, please look at the task answers. Goodbye.